there's kind of a real camaraderie between wood carvers because we all love wood, we all love nature, and we all like working with our hands. Clark Schreibeis is a wood carver. And this saltwater piece is all wood, although most suspect the cowrie shell is real, but no, it's carved wood. Clark entered it in the World Championship. It won best to show in uh, 1997. A lot of people like to whittle and then carve. The old master carvers from Europe all used hand tools. There's a lot of carvers that wouldn't think of using power. And I do use hand tools myself, although I consider myself a power carver, meaning I use power equipment. Power cutting speeds projects along and allows a little time for working in other media, such as bronze. I'm a real perfectionist, and once your sculpture goes to the foundry, it's out of your hands, and you may not get back what you gave them. I actually like the wood. Big power cutting, like a chainsaw for the initial work, is used for a life-sized great blue heron out of cedar Clark has been commissioned to do. The photos and models are all used for reference. There's a heron inside of this piece of wood here, and my job as a carver is to just get it to emerge. Clark started in taxidermy. Now he's carving and teaching others who come to him to learn his methods. I normally teach one-on-one. -on -one. For me, the benefits of the lifestyle are I get to work with my hands, I, I get to do things of beauty that I'm proud of getting the true essence of the species that I'm trying to portray in the final project. Bill Pryor, out amongst Montana's fish and wildlife carved replicas.